Okay, so today we're going to uh, continue with the build. Um, just wanted to highlight uh, a few things I'm excited about. So I've got some uh, bare knuckle uh, boot camp pickups um, for the Telecaster, the True Grit set, um, which are like a medium output kind of uh, set. Uh, I'm really excited to hear how they sound. Um, uh, I had a in fact, I still have a Strat that I was about to sell because I was really unhappy about, with how it sounded. And I got some uh, single coils from uh, bare knuckle pickups and just totally transformed the guitar. So I've never owned a Telecaster before. So uh, for me, the, my first port, port of call was um, bare knuckle pickups just to get that real kind of um, authentic tele sound. Uh, so yeah, and I've got a really special guest come and demo the guitar, uh, which you'll see at the end of this next video. So let's get in straight into the build. And now I'm going to put the string ferrules in. Um, these little things. And these I'm just going to hammer in with a rubber hammer that I got from uh, some furniture from Ikea, I think. These basically stop the string pulling through the wood. So. I wanted to put these in first because I didn't want hammering in to maybe damage the finish if I put them in later. Okay, so I'm about to put the finish on, so I have some Danish oil here, uh, which is really easy to apply, because uh, you can just apply it with a, a cotton cloth. Now I'm going to need three coats, so I'll just show you how to apply the first coat on both the scratch plate and the guitar. So it looks great, so as soon as you put it on, the wood darkens and the grain starts to into the wood. Uh, the bad thing about it is this stink for quite a few weeks after you put it on. So that's the uh, scratch plate. Let's do the guitar body. Hey everybody, so yesterday I assembled the guitar and as you know put the first bit of uh, Danish oil on the finish and so I had to leave it to dry. So today's boxing day and today I'm hoping to finish the guitar actually. But uh, the job I'm going to do next is to put assembly in the machine heads. Now machine heads come uh, in two flavors really, modern and vintage, uh, in terms of the size, so you don't want to get the wrong size for your guitar, uh, because if the vintage tuners have a slightly larger hole, and one of the biggest problems I've had uh, with tuning guitars is having the wrong machine heads when I put a guitar together in the past, so I bought these uh, machine heads for a Yamaha Pacifica that I bought in the early 90s because uh, I just wanted to have some cooler machine heads. Uh, it turns out they didn't really fit very well because the Yamaha Pacifica back then used vintage size holes which is slightly larger which means the machine heads moved ever so slightly and caused tuning issues. So uh, this well, uh, is uh, uh, the correct size though. So, 
just something to look out for when you're buying replacement parts. So they're pretty easy to install really. You have the shaft like that, you have a little washer and then this bit just screws in like that. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Oh, one more thing, uh, just uh, while we're talking about, because we've got the drill holes in the headstock as well, these come with a small, I don't know if you can see for some boxes, it's a small little hole there for a screw. Um, I'm gonna drill a pilot hole for that using my uh, hand drill. And we're going to use the same trick as before because what we don't want to do is drill a hole straight through the, the headstock or a hole that's too big. But you do need a hole because otherwise the screw won't go in very well and it might split the wood. Um, so all you do really is you put a piece of tape on that's the, that shows you the depth of the screw. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to focus in on it. Might not be able to this camera lens. There we go. So you have the screw, and you just hold it alongside the thing to get the correct length. Let's get that back in focus again, like that, and put your tape on so that you know you're not going to go too too deep. Okay, so uh, let's uh, finish the uh, putting the machine heads on. Okay, so I've got my uh, drill set up now. I've got the screws here and I've got a spanner to tighten the machine heads. So I've already put five of them in. I uh, just need to put the, the final one in <clears throat> and uh, show you how to do that. Now to screw them in. So as always, I'm going to um, wipe them in a bit of wax to make them go in nice and easy. Okay, so I'm going to start on the electronics now. Now uh, I've decided to use a Mustang base. Uh, control cover for uh, this telly just because I like the look of it. Um, the only problem is obviously it can't take a standard telecaster switch which is fine so I've got a switch off uh, Gibson Les Paul. The problem is it doesn't fit so um, I'm just going to show you. So basically it doesn't go through the hole. So what I'm going to have to do is use a stepper drill bit this is a drill bit that goes up in incremental sizes um, just to drill the hole. So I'm going to show you how to do that and then we'll get stuck into wiring it all up. So I'm going to put the control plate into a little vise that I've got here. I've got a piece of kind of paper either side of it so it doesn't mark, uh, put any marks on it. literally just going to go through with this step through this. It's pretty hard, this seal. Just a little bit more. There we go. And now it's perfectly. I can <coughs> install that and get it ready for Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wire the jack socket. So I just need to strip um, a bit of this um, insulated cable here. There we go. I'm just going to expose the middle one and I'm just going to move the brain. But I might just take a bit more off than that. Okay, 
so I'm going to peel back the braided wire just uh, twist that just going to now remove the from the center one okay so I'm just gonna get some solder now and just uh, put that on the, the braided cable there and it on what we call the hot tip like so Okay, and here we have the jack socket. So the you can tell which is which because the ring is earth. So I'm just going to solder in the tip. Okay, and I'm just going to. Bring the earth the connection around the corner. Put that in there and solder that up. I'm going to put plenty of solder on because this is the bit that most often breaks on a guitar. the jack getting pulled in and out all the time. Okay, so I'm gonna just pushing the wire into the cavity now. I'm just gonna drill the holes for the screws for the, the plate. Notice I haven't gone for a traditional Telecaster um, Telecaster jack plate. I just don't like them. <laughs> They're just find that they kind of fail a lot so I'm going with a more Gibson-esque type jack plate. so that it reaches the switch on here. We're ready to go. Great. So we're gonna wire up the pots now, just in preparation for uh, wiring the pickups too. First job I'm going to do is connect the volume uh, pot to the middle lug of the switch. Just going to connect to another length from the tone control to there now. Pretty much ready now for when I just wire the pickups and connect the final connections. So I'm just going to put the uh, the uh, volume and tone knob on now. Just push that on. So, oh, actually, I should tone it first. I 
<laughs> there we go, so that's now ready to go. So I'm just going to wire up the uh, hot connections first from uh, both pickups. So I'll just do the bridge pickup first. Then I'm uh, going to do the hot side of the neck pickup to the other side of the switch. Now we're going to go for the earth connections for the pickups. Now ideally you put them all to the same place. So I'm going to have a go at doing that. Just need to connect the tone caps now and then we're almost done. Okay, so I've just uh, finished wiring the uh, jack socket to the volume control now so I'm probably ready to test to see if it's working now even though uh, there's no strings on the instrument you can still check that the controls are working so let's just pop this in like that I'm going to switch this little uh, practice amp on here and uh, I'm just going to put it into bridge only and tap the pole pieces and you can hear that uh, you're getting a, a noise. If I tap in the neck pickup, you shouldn't get a noise. And you don't. Okay, now let's go to the neck pickup. Get a noise when I tap that, but not when I tap the bridge. And then in the middle, it should do both. And it does. And now if I turn the volume down, yeah, the hum goes away. Because bizarrely, Telecasters are not hum cancelling when they're on the middle. I never really realised that. This is the first Telecaster I've ever owned. And for some reason, Fender decided not to wire them in a way to make them humbucking. But there you go. Okay, I'm going to screw this together now and we're going to just do the final uh, assembly on the neck. And... So in order to install the string trees, uh, I need to put some strings on. So got some Daddario NYXL 10s, which are my favorite strings. Um, so I'm just gonna quickly install those um, and then we'll uh, get to the final touches, which is installing yeah. the string tree and doing the logo. Okay, so we're going to install the string tree now. I'm just going to just put the screw into the string tree here, and I'm just going to see how long I need, how far I need to drill in. So it's about that far. Just wrap the piece of tape around again, and I'm just going to loosen these. made a little impression there. Just gonna loosen these two strings now. So I can just take them out of the way. So that I can just put the pilot hole in there. back on now, just tighten up a little bit and uh, just put the string tree in there. Okay. 
Hang on, I forgot my wax trick. I'm struggling to get the screw in. Let's put some wax on it. Man, that trick with the wax works just so well. Great, so that's the string tree on. Final touch now is I'm going to uh, put the headstock decal on. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just file down the nut slots. They're far too high, so I've got some um, Hosco nut files. I've got a feeler gauge there. And what I'm looking for is for a clearance of the width of the thinner C string under this fret here. So this is... Um, about 0.3 millimeters and uh, I'm going to file it down till it just pinches a little E string so there's a top tip for you so I'm just going to go ahead and do that now and I'm aiming for a, an angle that angles towards the machine head uh, with the with the file I'm just going to keep filing I've just got this feeler gauge there for protection really so I don't catch the fretboard in any way Uh, and I'll just go through each string then uh, to just get the action sorted. Okay, so I got some decals made. Um, kind of <laughs> amused myself by having the Dave Bronze Caster uh, and Original Celtic Sound as the uh, thing. So what I'm going to do, so I've never done this before, I'm going to just chop out the decal So, and I'm just going to trial it first with this little one on the edge, just at the top there, to see if I can get that to work first. If it just needs to be a bit tinier. top there like that okay so got some lukewarm warm water there uh, and I'm just gonna slide it in to the water yeah that's pretty easy So the print on that's quite dark, so it's not very easy to see. But I think I'm ready to try the main one now. There we go, that's how we do that. <laughs> so the guitar is built and Tom, who's just popped round to my house, is going to play a few licks on it. <laughs> So there you go, the build is done. 
um, I'm really, really pleased that with how this guitar's come out. Uh, it really sounds like a proper telly to me. Um, I mean, the bare knuckles um, pickup set sound amazing. Got all that telly spank and twang without any of the sort of uh, harshness. So, uh, well done bare knuckle pickups. And I think the guitar plays and looks really ace. So, so yeah, so I hope you enjoy coming on this journey with me. I am gonna use this guitar on the new album for absolutely for definite because I don't have a, another guitar that sounds anything like it. Um, it's just a really enjoyable guitar to play as well because it's actually quite loud. Um, I mean, incredibly loud for a, you know an unplugged electric guitar. Uh, so it's just fun. I'll probably use this guitar for songwriting quite a bit as well. Fun. Really hope you enjoyed that guys. As always, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, check out some of the other videos, uh, like I've built an amp, uh, a Friedman style amp. Um, uh, so check out those videos, there's 11 videos on that. Also, please take some time to check out my music, because I don't build guitars or amps for a living, I sell my music. So if you could go to davebronze.com and check out the music I make and perhaps even buy some if you like it, I'd be really grateful. Thanks so much and have a great Christmas and a Happy New Year.